Try again. again. Um, I have also an unboxing today. Uh, this arrived and I got it divided into two packs. This is a beaded cross stitch, a full one. As you know, as you saw from the other one, I've been working on the small partial one. Um, and I find it, I just wanted to buy a partial one just to start with. I have two partial uh, beaded cross stitch. Um, just to see if I found it to be funny to do. And at the big sale on AliExpress, um, some of the golden panel had a really nice sale. So <clears throat> I'm just going to find this one. Um, I bought this humongous piece here. Um, it's $96 and I would never have bought it. Um, many was saying that the sale was a piece of crap and that, that, that you didn't, um, save anything. Uh, it wasn't quite true because I saved, uh, I saved, I saved uh, $26 on this one. So in totally uh, for this painting, I paid uh, $70, but then there were extra coupon from my total buy. I bought two pieces for more, I think. And uh, on top of that, I saved another $10. Uh, so all in all, no $20, sorry. So all in all for this, I paid around $55. Um, this is not a painting that I'm going to do um, anytime soon. It's not one which I am calculating on just having finished. It's going to be a huge project. I'm already aware of that. So uh, I need to do my partials. I finished that one first and then I think I'm going to kit it up this one and see how it is. But as you said, I just wanted to, I, I brought a weight because then I just out of curiosity, I wanted to find out how much it weighs. So this was the one packet that weighs 1.7 kilos. And then the next packet which came. So <laughs> in total, this painting is going to weigh 3.3 kilos or 3,273 grams. That's a lot. It's going to be so heavy. You can already feel it here. So, so let's see. Um, let's go into this one because this one you can see that's just all the beads which came in their own package. Um, <clears throat> Let's see what they've stuck into this one, perhaps. I think this is, should be the canvas. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, it's a printed canvas as far as I know. Um, so again, they've packed all the beads into, as you can see here, and here's all the thread. So here you have some more beads, <laughs> loads of them. Um, the thread is here. There's three st uh, strings of thread. And then here is the canvas. So let's see. So this. How do you do that? Do you divide it? Oh yeah, you can divide it like this. So you can take off like ordinary white um, DMC. You can take out and there's more threads in there. So you're just able to take them out. Three big chunks of those. And here we have the kit. And inside here we have the cross stitch. So here you can see it. It looks beautiful. I was just thinking that I'm, I don't know what this says up here. So I think that I'm going to replace that uh, just with the blue beads and hopefully have enough 
or yeah, some whites or something, make a cloud or something, because I don't know what it says. And it, it does make it a bit too Chinese for my taste anyhow. Um, I think my mom would love it, but uh, to be quite honest, I don't know if this is going to be a 10 year project, as you can see. 147 times 61, that's the one that I bought. And here is the Chinese instructions of how you do it. So you go up one, down one, one, up, down. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Um, and in here you have all of the beaded crustets. Oh, look at that. When you're good, you're going to get that white. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of in here. So, and these, as you can see here, these numbers will match up to the canvas because that's the end of the canvas. So here we have it. Perhaps I just need to take it up. Oh, it's, yeah, it's big. <laughs> so that's going to be fun though. Oh, look at all those needles up here. <laughs> A ton of needles. So that's good. Um, so here we have it. It's going to look beautiful. And I thought that the writing would be a lot bigger than it is. So you can easily just substitute it. These, uh, this color will go away. So if you don't want that one, you can just take them out with the ordinary beads and it'll continue the... I think I'm just going to do that. Um, that looks beautiful. So... So as it said, it said um, 46, let's see, this is 30, it's more than 46, I think, let's hang on, 30, it's 33 centimeters this way, so, and Yeah, it's 30 centimeters. Let's see, no, no, sorry. 30 plus like 24, so 53 centimeters, how much? It's 61, so it's 146. So it's probably 140 times, uh, yeah, times 53. So that's not counted. And as you can see, do you know how many colors this had? That's crazy. 65 colors. I bought this over here because I knew that this was going to be a long-term project, but I just knitted up my uh, my um, uh, diamond art club in it because I thought that that would be a good idea. Um, so, but I don't know uh, what I'm going to do if I'm going to buy another of this one because there's um that's uh, I have bought these as well there's these dividers for them and there's uh I think what's the ten in each of them can't really remember all so and these and there's six so there's thirty in one of those so if you divide half of them it depends on how many beads there are of each color we can just take a look at it uh, let's place this together back together like this oh it's going to be gorgeous when done three and a half kilos that's wild isn't it you can't even knit that up hmm i don't know so let's see so how many colors did we say 65 right so it looks like they are numbered here. Do we want to get into those? We need to because we need to count if they're all there. I'm just being really careful because they're in bags so we don't...
screw it up and suddenly have beads all over the place wouldn't be very nice so <clears throat> so this one it's all oh, these gorgeous pink ones and and I also did um I, I'm really, I really want to see the quality of these beads as well, if they're really bad. Uh, because I've, I've seen some really bad stories about them rubbing off color and so on. So I hope that these are good at that price. Oh, they look good. They look really good, nice and good. Look at that. So. Let's see. They look good. Some of them might need, I'm thinking that this one needs a bit of a wash. It's like there's an oil on it. Just I, do, I, I I think sometimes they don't really clean off the things, but uh, otherwise it's just the back which looks like that. But these looks really good. And then there's this oh gorgeous pink one. I love pink. I love me some pink. And as you can see, they all have numbers. Perhaps we should just take them out. Oh God, and silver. Who doesn't like some silver? <laughs> and goals and all the pretty colors so that's one of the things that they do miss in DMC frets and, and colors and so on is the golden colors I know that they um, that you now are able to do get them in real in uh, I'm just trying to get in here uh, that you are able to get them as rhinestones but it could be nice if you could get them as normal drills as well in gold and silver and so on because for instance when you do mermaid it mates and so on many of them have gold so I don't know if that's not a DMC color I'm not used to cross stitching um, so, and in the plastic, it would be really difficult to, in yeah, to make a golden color. I don't know if it is that difficult. So, so there, this is just pl uh, uh, put into bags. So let's see. <laughs> so, sixty-five colors. Uh, do we have some sort of chart in here? I'm just looking away. I don't think there's a color chart in here. Yeah, it is here. So 65, 154. So I think I'm just going to count the backs and then we can take a look at all of the colors afterwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, did you see that massive bag? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so that's 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36. Ah, I can't tell again. I can't count again. So, but I think they're all here. I just counted one. I miscounted one, so. 
um, and they have with numbers on them as well so I think like look here here's 65 so the 65 is a white one and they look really good and I was I was people said that they were from what I heard uh, I think that they weren't quite even and I can see that they are not perfect they are really not unanimous in size so I think that's one thing to expect here that they are not perfect but most of them are and I think I'm just going to sort through I think I hope that there's enough uh, of each color you don't have a clue do you because this is not weight either so it doesn't say how many you need just a lot but look at that back here together with this and this so here we have the sheer one almost yes yeah, silver one uh, together with this pretty brownish one and here we have the golden one a lot of pretty colors it's going to look beautiful if I ever get this done to be quite honest this is going to be one one long project <laughs> so uh, but you know me probably going to come through it when I'm 64 or something so yeah <laughs> so yeah and then there's a lot of green colors beautiful green colors just oh these colors are like oh this one is oily I think is it that's really weird it's just sometimes they look a bit oily oh yeah I think this is oily I think some of them just needs to be cleaned a lot just have cleaned the they are all they seem to be oily drills I can't not drills beads I've never seen that before but they it's just they they have like a foggy some sort of yeah I I'm definitely going to wash them uh, those who looks like that it's like I don't know if you can see it but this is the bag is like really not clear so I don't know uh, how other green ones he has another green one um, and here is one beautiful green ones oh it's going to look good so the green ones let's see Sorry for swearing, not on purpose. <laughs> uh, 18, like this green is one as well. So, and the dark green one. And a green one. And a golden yellow one. Again, the, the drills aren't perfect. I don't think that we are going to. But at that price, I only paid $50. It's around 350 Danish crowners. I couldn't get a, even get a small one here in Denmark at that price. Um, the small one I bought of Finland, I paid $30 for. So, <laughs> so as long as they look good... Uh, I think it's going to be all right and then you can just take off the really bad ones of them I don't really I think it's going to look beautiful yeah that's the green ones and then we've got oh this one have you seen that one oh sparkle one 
so many different colors and different colors of purples here and here and here and here so my husband is just coming in we are sharing my craft room at the moment oh we are sharing my craft room my craft room is his craft room and he's looking at me instead with being really ours ours it's ours craft room that is it's my craft room and his gaming did <laughs> so here we have all the uh, yeah pink ones all sorts of shades of pinks so we wanted to see Game of Thrones, but it's way too too bright outside. It's um, yeah, it's half eight here, but it's still really like daytime outside. So, um, so I think we have to wait half an hour and an hour yet. So I just had to do this, and then there's a lot of blue ones, different blue shades here. Oh, they're beautiful. Here. And then there's the orange ones. Could you close the... And then there's these silver ones here. And... These, yeah. Those ones are really big. I did. I think it's going to be very different in size and so on with the beads. So, but they are round, so that's a good thing, though. <laughs> and then there's a red one. Different kinds of reds and browns and so on. So, yeah, beautiful. I think and a small bag of brown ones. Yeah. So, oh my God, what have I done? Um, definitely going to be fun to work at. Um, I just think that I'm going to put that aside and then I'm going to do over and then I'm going to do a small ribbon chat, I think. So I just got to set up a bit for a short ribbon chat before we go in to see Game of Thrones. Just wanted to bring you update with, with what has been happening the last week uh, what I've been doing and all sorts of fun stuff so um, as you see as you saw in the intro I've been working both on the diamond art club uh, piece here that I'm still working on I think I'm one quarter done um i hope to have her done within yeah the next week or so it isn't um i think there isn't much uh confetti in her so even though i haven't been working much on her this week uh there has been when i've been working on her there has been a lot of progress so uh Hopefully I will have her done for next week. If I don't, then that's just a pity. And then it's going to be next week again. No hurries. Afterwards, I think I'm going to continue on my woman sitting on the earth. My mother nature or whatever she is. Um... I really like that painting and I hope that she's going to turn out really good. Um, and then I also have the owl that I've started working on that I think I'm going to do. And then I have my beaded cross stitch that I'm also working on. As you saw with the first one that I just unboxed, this is not going to be one that I'm kidding up anytime soon. Perhaps somewhere in the fall. Uh, 
when it starts to get dark and so on outside, I think that I'm going to kit up that uh, beaded cross stitch and perhaps work on it uh, during next winter. Um, I like just mixing it up with uh, with diamond painting just to do something else. Um, I did buy some more stuff off AliExpress when they had the sale, so I'm exciting excited about those pieces coming in and I think some of them uh, I will be able to do when we go on holiday this summer and so on so uh, we are driving to Croatia so uh, it's going to be a long drive but we're used to that if because we normally camp this time we went did a mobile home in Croatia so I think I talked about that before so we are really looking forward to that now. Um, what else happened? Um, yeah, a bit sad thing happened this week uh, or this weekend. My my husband's uh, uh, granny died, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, the kids' um, grand grandma. What is that called? Great grandma died so um, uh, she was 94 uh, and uh, so that was really sad uh, it uh, it came a bit as a surprise for us because it's always always been, been really healthy and fresh and there's been nothing wrong with her memory or something but she caught a pneumonia which um, uh, just yeah made her really ill and bad and yeah so uh, Sunday we went out to her care home and uh, sang her out of her room uh, that's something you do in, in Denmark I don't know what you do in other countries but we gather and then we uh, say goodbye and uh, she came into her uh, she were, was put into her coffin and, uh, and then she had all her nice things with her and uh, we then gathered around and her coffin and sang all of her favorite songs for her uh, and then um, she was uh, rolled out to uh, yeah she was rolled out to the uh, car waiting and then uh, uh, they drove off, off with her and we are going to the funeral on this Thursday so sad uh, sad sad day um uh, but the tri children was really good about it. They uh, they went in and said goodbye to her, and so uh, it's the first meeting with a dead person. So and one they really adored as well. So it was a really bit tough, but they was really really uh, they were really happy about it and happy to have done it. So uh, so that's good. Um, and we've been talking a lot about it and they uh, yeah they uh, uh, our eldest son uh, on first day had to was going on a trip on a field trip with his school but he he wants to stay home and uh, go to the uh, funeral so um, so they're really uh, wanting to say goodbye and and so on so that's really really nice um, so that's uh, so my husband and I are off work on Thursday and uh, yeah uh, after the uh, funeral we are going to a gathering she had a, she had a huge family which is so nice uh, so she had I think five sons six sons and a daughter so so there's a lot of people wanting to say goodbye to her 
so I think that the church is going to be filled up and um, she was such a nice person so she had a lot of friends and so on so I think there's going to be yeah probably a hundred people or more at the funeral so it's going to be huge so um, yeah um, but you know uh, so we are yeah yeah, we're just waiting on on Thursday and so on so so yeah uh, otherwise uh, the uh, yeah uh, another thing was that uh, my husband and I, I and my husband and I when we get bored we do stupid things I think or I tend to do stupid thing and he just tags along I don't know <laughs> he's 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 grinning in the back <laughs> so um so we 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 decided to redo our terrace of course we did that so now we have to take up all the old stones that's 45 square meters um i think i i think uh that's going to be quite I don't know if it's going to be the worst part is to going to take all up all the old stones. I think that's probably going to be the worst part of it because uh, that's going to be hard because there are so small stones there. I think they're 21 centimeters times nine or something and there's 45 square meters of them. And we have to carry them around. Oh God. So that's... Um, that's probably going to be the toughest part of it, but it's going to look beautiful when it's done. We chose a, uh, a really nice slab, I think. So, uh, so I hope that it's going to be nice, and it's probably going um, because we have um, we have uh, some. I think, yeah, I can't really explain it, but our terrace doors. Um, uh, uh, with fillings they are with like in a f you know one of the old farmhouse where you've got all the squares inside the, f the um, wi windows just to make it cozy they have that and I think it takes a lot of light from the room from the, our living room um, and with having a really dark surface out there uh, it also takes away light so i hope that it's going to be much more um lighter and uh, friendlier to go out on the terrace and at the same time we have had so many ants digging under all the stones so the terrace uh yeah it's it's going all sorts of directions and there's dust all over not, or sand all over it uh, and even we have tried so many times just to take away all the sand and so on and they, it just keeps on coming so I hope that by buying some bigger slabs and they are 60 times 60 centimeters and lay them really tight that we don't have the same issues with all that sand and so on because I would love just to go outside in my bare feet and just, yeah, relax and uh, eat dinner and, you know, just relax on the terrace and not be annoyed with sand under my feet or ants crawling up my legs. <laughs> so, so that's going to be a bit tough, but, uh, but uh, also fun and nice when it's done. So looking forward to doing that um so have you seen this one i'm just sidetracking here i use this this is a separator but i really i saw somebody said that it couldn't be used for squares i it can be used for squares use them for squares that's what i find they work really good with just as you can see now i, I don't know if you can see this but it's really straightening out your lines. Um, so I use them every time I finish a section like this. I don't know if you can see the, 
difference from just yeah so I think that it looks really good and you can use it as well just to press down and straighten up also at the side if you have some sticking out so I use it a lot and I, I use it like you know almost a shovel where you place it out down sideways and just press it um, and it works really good so yeah you can re easily use it for that one I bought I think I bought a hundred of these of Aliexpress and they I paid three dollars something ridiculous for them uh, so cheap so uh, nice investment just to to have if you want to have some more straightened uh, straight drills so yeah it's really good so and as you can see I place a lot of the at a time at the moment I'm just just because you're here I use the smaller tray normally I big they use the big tray and uh, when I do that um, I have a lot of lines and I tend just to pick up a lot of them um, as you can see here and using uh, the separator uh, should we call it the separator um, <laughs> I probably some sort of Danish word that I just invented the separator yay um, if you if you use it you can you can hide uh, the lines that you sometimes get from placing multiple drills um, so I don't really see those lines when I just go in afterwards and use the separator on it uh, or the divider what should we call it comment below what is it called probably something not danish translating thingy um so so as you can see if i do this now you can see i take away all of it and it looks really good i think so so if you do that and you want to use your multiplacer which i do a lot of using uh, when i have these chunks of blocks of colors it's really nice to have just a multiplacer to go along with um, then uh, the separator <laughs> it's a really good tool um, so yeah otherwise I'm just waiting for some more of my favorite diamond paintings coming in um, Orchid who won uh, the draw uh, competition um, she instead of the chimney art one which she already had ordered herself um, she wanted one of uh, the ones that I have ordered of uh, Alibaba so I just gave her that one um, so she has an unboxing coming up when it's coming in but uh, as these canvases come in with uh, train it takes a lot of time uh, for it to pass through it's not as quick as some of the other canvases that uh, you buy uh, for instance uh, you can have express shipping on aliexpress um, but the good thing is that this is including uh, shipping fees and taxes and so on so um, there's no fine on it when it comes in they they do all of the uh, all of the import uh, papers and so on so uh, so I shouldn't have any issues afterwards with uh, with the uh, paintings so that is coming up and then I thought I I'm going to do uh, 
I think I'm going to do a I a video line called the myth of diamond paintings or something. I think I or oh, I see so many people saying things that are not really on my scene from going on. So yeah. Uh but let me know comment below and uh yeah see you in my next video and we will now go in and see some game of thrones yay bye for now bye happy diamond painting and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and all that fun stuff yes bye for now bye bye